I thought, right? That's what I thought I was on the list. But that's what I'm doing here. Yeah. <laughs> I play in a band and tomorrow morning when I go back, I get to say, I get to go. Oh but my. he selected me. Yeah, you're right. Oh, okay, got that? Yeah. Uh, okay, that's actually, okay, try to rub so it So anyway, in. I'll cut the, <laughs> cut the, I walked into the uh, Madison Square Garden and there's the, there's, they had like, you know, um, dressing rooms for everybody. And there was a, uh, each one had a list and on one list it had a wall and it had four names on this on the wall of this one room while these artists were going to share the same room. And this was Johnny Cash, Chris Christopherson, Willie Nelson, and George Thurgood. And I thought they'd made a mistake. And I said, you put me with Johnny Cash and Willie Nelson and Chris Christopherson? And the guy who did it from hospitality went, yeah. <laughs> I like them die. I like them die. You're in wonderful company. I mean, I was in the room with Chris Christopherson and I was like, and, and Johnny Cash came in with his wife and immediately took my guitar and started playing and playing the blues. If you were in a room with Jim and you're in a room with Johnny, you get it in stereo. Yeah. Non-stop. Total. Very cool. Non-stop. Probably, I couldn't think of two nicer people in the world I've ever heard. Johnny Cash and Jim Carter. That is very Jim Carter cool. had this guitar that had everybody argue and had it. Uh, it was a guitar I used to play when I was a street singer. And I had everybody sign it, including Willie Nelson, John Fogarty, people like that. And it was a green guitar strap. It was, like, it was a shoestring I used for a strap. And I'd take it with me out so I was poor because I couldn't read it. So I never replaced it. I kept it there just as a keep it, you know, so keep it in mind. So I showed it to June and I said, What do you think of that guitar strap? She goes, That's class. <laughs> that is cool. And then they were, they were not hick. Not hip, hip. No, I know this cornball southern stuff. Although know, Johnny's from Arkansas, she's from Virginia. Then you know what the hell is going on? So I got that cool. going. And they thought I was a really cool guy. How cool is that? Too, on top of it, right? I got in an elevator once, and um, you know, I was in the elevator with my wife, and who's standing in the corner is June Carter. And she doesn't dress like you think uh, a woman would dress in her line of work. She dresses like a woman who's probably at Woodstock. Oh, really? Or like, like Carol King or Rita Coolidge. You know what I mean? She's a hip lady. And I saw her standing there, and I'm like, the elevator's going up. And I go, June? I don't remember. I'm like, remember, I'm too observant. And before I can even put my hat, she goes, Well, George, just come over here and start talking to me because I don't think you're going to speak to me and you're standing right there. <laughs> you better start talking because you're George and John's over here. Before I know, we went right past our elevator floor. Oh, goodness. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Still going. So got us down to see a show and oh my God. stood there for for an hour and everybody was coming around and they took me and my wife as their personal bodyguards. And I mean everybody was there. Cheryl Crow, Tom Petty, and they wouldn't hang out with us. Lovely. The outlaw. Fantastic. <laughs> Mr. Thurgood.